I don't know. They just they should win. Some of should win like every year, but whatever. I'm biased. It wasn't that long ago that Cross Sibley was taking the mound for Summerall in a battle against rival Purvis for the second straight year. These two clubs meet in the South State title. Scott Kirk takes us down Highway 589. It's our revenge time. They got their revenge on us, but it's our turn. Think of it like the Yankees Red Sox rivalry. College game or a regional kind of environment. The crowd comes out, makes it go crazy. I just love playing in it. The classic battle of Highway 589 takes one final stop this season for the Class 4A South State Championship with game one of the series beginning right here in Sumrall. The defending state champs Purvis and Sumrall know each other very well, having already played three times this year, but the stakes are high this weekend with a chance to go to the state championship in Pearl on the line. I mean, last year we were being the hunted, and then this year we're doing the hunting. It's a tough situation, you know, playing each other again and again and again, uh, but it just comes down to really who makes the less mistakes. We just got to try to sell our kids that we've been there before. We'll work hard this week. I mean, offensively, we're going to have to put the ball in play. We're going to have to minimize strikeouts to have any chance at all of beating someone off. We were a young team last year. I don't think we really were ready for the environment. Uh, I think the first game we were pretty scared when we went over there, but I think this year we've matured and we figured some things out, and uh, I think we're ready for it. When you've got as much pop in the lineup as both Purvis and Summerall do, attacking early on will be one of the many factors to who wins this series. Past Christian, we struggled with the bats first, second game. We had to rely on our pitching to do the job. Third game, we, we, we got our bats hot, and I think that's what got us going uh, in the Columbia series. We got to jump on them fast, because most of the time when we jump on teams fast, they kind of just they kind of die out. They don't have the momentum no more. Momentum's big. We got to have it quick and keep it throughout the game. Between the Summerall and the Purvis home games in this series last year, there's nearly over a 1,000 people at each of those. So if you're heading out this weekend, you might want to get there early. First pitch on Friday is set for 7 p.m. Reporting for WDAM, I'm Scott Kirk.